Hi, this is Trey Passer. Welcome to my review of Zootopia. As promised, I went to see Zootopia uh, today, so I'm IMAX 3D. Uh, today, first of all, the IMAX 3D, beautiful, okay? Definitely get a chance to see a movie in IMAX 3D, see it. It's fantastic. Anyway, uh, this movie is basically about a town called Zootopia, where basically predators and prey both live together in, in a functioning town, and they you know go about their daily business like normal like human beings, but except they're animals, and they all still have jobs and stuff and go about doing their daily things, and they have police force and fire engines and all that other stuff, like normal society. And but basically, uh, this is a story about one bunny named uh, Judy Hopps, uh, voiced by Jennifer Goodwin. Um, she always has an ambition to be a police officer. She basically wants to be the first, because there's no bunny police officers at all, and she wants, she aspires to be that, to be the first. Of course, her parents kind of dissuade her. They, you know, they kind of funnily tell her uh, to not dream big. Don't, you know, don't take a chance, you know. But of course, that's not Judy's character. She wants to dream big, and she wants to be, and she sets about doing it. And, and she actually becomes the first bunny police officer uh, in Zootopia. Of course, she's kind of discarded by, you know, the commander who kind of Chief Bongo, played by Idris Elba, who kind of assigns her to media maid duty. He really doesn't want her on the force. Of course, but then, of course, during the course of her daily job, she kind of runs into a a fox, <laughs> uh, Nick Wilde, played by uh, Jason Bateman, voiced by Jason Bateman, who's kind of sort of like a con artist, and they kind of uh, have a kind of rocky relationship. But what happens basically is, in the midst of uh, Judy uh, doing her job, she runs into a, a a client who basically tells her that that her that her husband, a weasel. Is missing, okay. And in, during the course of her investigation, she finds out, of course, this there's a, a bigger case where 14 predators have been have been missing, gone missing, of course. And which leads to you know her, you know, basically trying to investigate it, of course. And you know the police chief kind of discouraging her to do it, but she goes about investigating, it, of course, with the aid of uh, Nick Wilde, uh, the fox, <laughs> and she kind of blackmails him to helping blackmails him into helping her. And that's basically what the story is. They're investigating these disappearance of these 14 predators and what and what it means. And let me say, this movie is absolutely fantastic. First of all, it's, it's beautifully, the animation in this movie is absolutely breathtakingly beautiful. I mean, the things they show in the movie are just, it's just a beautiful thing to behold, okay? And then of course, the story itself is fantastic as well, okay? It's basically a story about uh, prejudice it has sexism in it, racism in it. Uh, uh, it. It's a lot of different subjects are in this movie, and it all comes together be beautifully by the uh, by the director and the, and the writers. I think, and even in the talent, the voice work is excellent in this movie. And this movie is really absolutely fantastic. I I laughed. Uh, there was moments in that made you kind of you know you felt felt for the characters as well. And it's just really, really, this is probably one of the best animated movies I've seen in a long time. It really, really is quite well done. I mean, just absolutely, you know, the movie is, I mean, it was such a good movie that you forget half the time that's animated. Because that's how good that, you know, the story is and the plot and the, in, and the animation and the voice acting. And it's just a fantastic movie. And I can't recommend this movie enough. I definitely, uh, definitely go see this movie. I, def I can't recommend this movie highly enough. It's... It's fantastic. Okay, and like I said, I, I laughed. It was it had good moments. It made you feel good. And again, it, again, it gives you lessons about sexism, racism. Uh, it's just a really, a really well done film. Okay, it just happens to be animated. Okay, and I would love to see a sequel to this movie. I just I, that's how much I love this movie. It's one of the best of the year to me. Totally, I'm gonna give this movie. Uh, Zootopia an 8.5. I can't recommend it highly enough. It's so good. To, uh, go see this movie, please. Take you can take your whole family to see this. Take little kids, adults. Trust me, this movie is everybody will enjoy it. It's it's that good to me. I really really enjoy this movie. It really, it's one of the best of the year that came out so far, without a doubt. Anyway, let me know what you think of my review. Feel free to leave comments down below. And like I said, I have another channel called Paul Views and Opinions. If you wanna. Check out that channel. I'll leave a link to the script in the description box below. You can check that out. Anyway, if you like this review again, hit the subscribe button down below. And this is Trey Pastor saying so long and take care.